Hello, I am Jason, or J the Ninja as I am sometimes known, and welcome to this quick Blender compositing tip. Today I am going to show you a quick little technique to add camera style noise to your render using Blender's compositor and a simple noise plate image. The reason you want to add noise to your renders is cameras will leave some noise on images they shoot, particularly in dark areas. It comes from just random electrical noise on the sensor and all that kind of weird thing. Now, some people might think, oh, well, I can duplicate this in my render just by using less samples. That does not really work. It will give you some noise, but it will not be the kind of noise a camera leaves behind, which is what we're interested in. So to start with, we have Blender's compositor with our render. This is just a render I'm working on right now. We want to make an image of some noise and add it onto this. So for starters, we need an image with noise, or a noise plate, so to speak. Now one a really simple way to do that is to just open up Photoshop, make a new document of the size of your image, which is already set here. Call it noise plate. Hit OK. And we'll just go to edit fill because I forgot to set it to be a black image. There we go. Now it's black. And think for a minute and give that a save. Now for whatever reason I've created this as gray, so I'm going to switch it to RGB there. Alright, so once we have that done we can just go to filter, noise, add noise, mm, select an amount we want. If you check monochromatic, it will be gray. I'm going to leave that off so it's rainbow colored. So hit OK, save it. And just to make things easier on the compositor, I usually like to save off a PNG copy. Mm -hmm. Saving the files. There we go. All right. Now another way you can get a noise image is to just take your camera and take a picture with the lens cap on or your jacket over the lens. And that will give you real camera noise, but it can be somewhat more difficult to integrate into the image because when you take the generated noise, the background area is just solid black. You can tell it to be solid black. With the camera, you're going to have to tune that yourself and it can be a little bit more awkward. A lot, sometimes when you try and add it in, it'll make your whole image lighter. But if you want to go that route, you certainly can. You just need to fiddle with the black point on your image a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and use the image we just made. So go to input, image, open, navigate to where we save that, click open image, and then we go to our add node list, choose color, mix, drop that onto our main wire, plug it on here, and we're going to change the mix mode over to add. So what that did, very simply, is just take the noise and add it onto our existing image. Now this looks okay, it looks like it has camera noise on it, but the problem with this is a real camera would have more noise in the shadow areas, like for example, in here, here, up here, but luckily Blender's compositor gives us a really simple way to isolate that. So if we go to add noise, Go to add node, so converter, math. Now we can change the mode here to less than. Now what less than will do is give us sort of a condition, true, false. We'll need to just drop it on the wire here so our main image is connected into the first value. And then we actually want to connect the output to the mix factor. Go ahead and reconnect that there. So I'm going to go ahead and attach a viewer to less than so you can see what it's outputting. Looks like that. The way less than works is any values that are smaller than this will be white. Anything larger than this fails the test and comes out as black. So we'll go ahead and drop this a good bit. And you can see, whoops, put a small value like 0 0.01, we get just the dark areas. And what this is doing now is limiting the noise so it's only in the darker areas of the image. If you turn this off, you can, whoops. Let's go ahead and set that back to one. And you can see, we now have noise here. So at the 0.01, you lose noise there. Now this is still kind of a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop this to something even smaller, like 0.002. And that's fairly decent. 
Now one thing you might be noticing is this still kind of looks like crap. You have a very obvious noise edge here. And the reason for that is we're adding the noise in at 100% opacity, which we don't really want to be doing. So what we'll do instead is go to converter, math, add a second math node, drop that one onto the wire in between the less than and factor, and set the mode to multiply. And this will essentially become an opacity control for the noise layer. And we can go ahead and drop this down to about 10% or 0.1. And at that point, if we go ahead and zoom our backdrop in here, you can see we have a very gentle noise. It's not much, but if we go ahead and mute the add node, you can see it's just a very, very subtle effect. And this is generally what you want when you're adding lens artifacts to your renders. You don't want to beat your viewers over the head with it, because it just looks like you don't know what you're doing. But the way I like to describe it is lens artifacts should be felt but not seen. Everyone is already expecting to see them there, because that's just what we're subconsciously used to seeing in photographs. So just quietly slip in what people are already expecting to see, and they'll just notice it and subconsciously go on with their life. So I'll go ahead and hit F12 to render this out and get our final output. And we have some nice little noise under the desk. We got some noise in the shadow of the door here. With that, I guess we are wrapping this up. Thank you for watching this Blender Quick Tip, and I hope to have more of these up soon.